Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Wanted to let you know that our Games and Gain shirts are back for a third time. You guys wanted them again, so we put them back up for you guys again. However, this might be the very last time this design is available. So, if you want to have a chance to get your Games and Gains t-shirts, hoodies, and women's tees, then I'll be sure to do it right now until June 30th. Thank you guys very much for your continued support on this campaign. Really glad you enjoy the shirts. I'll put that link in the description, and you can check them out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. Feels like long time no see in terms of the gym videos, but uh, I think part of that was because we were on vacation and we had lots of uh, fun times on vacation and made some pretty fun vlogs for you guys as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those, but now we're back home, getting back in the home gym and back to work. So one of the first things I want to talk about while this leg day video plays for you guys is that we've been talking about doing uh, a bodybuilding slash physique show for a while now. And uh, at this point, I'm really committed to it. Uh, we've got a show that's only three weeks away. It's gonna be on the 4th of July, the Mr. and Mrs. Muscle Beach out at the Venice Beach. So that's the one I'm gonna be doing. That's only three weeks away from me right now. So I don't think I'm in crazy shape for it. I feel like in terms of being in competitive shape for a physique show, it would have taken uh, you know a little bit more time for me. Um, but I think, Taking into account all the stuff that, that I've got going on in terms of the YouTube channel and the live streaming every day and the amount of traveling that we've been doing both for uh, family and for business, uh, I think that I've, I've done a pretty good job, you know, putting together a physique that I feel good about bringing to my first physique show ever. Like I said, I don't really expect to be super competitive, but I do still have three weeks to, to keep working on my diet and really dial uh, my diet in, dial my cardio in and see what we can do. Even at this point, if I stepped on stage right now, I don't think I would be embarrassed with what I'm bringing to the table, but I know that um, with more time and more effort, I can do better. But uh, I th I'm I'm excited. Three weeks away, you know, we have some time to do some work, um, but you're not gonna make huge changes in three weeks, so we're pretty much working with what we got. Um, I probably ought to do a physique update for you guys before we go uh, for the show, but uh, right now I'm just sharing this leg day with you. Um, in terms of my training right now, I am training to, obviously for the show, but what I might do is I might just do this very first one, see how it goes, see if I enjoy it, which I imagine I will. And I don't think that I'm ready just to commit to a bulk after that. I might continue to diet a little bit, see if there's are, there are more shows that I could potentially do around this time while I'm still lean. Because after I you know finish the, the amount of shows that I want to do, after I get them all out of my system, I think I am going to commit to a nice long bulk. Because even though my strength is, is still feeling pretty good right now, um, as much as I as I want to be lean and look good for the physique show One of my long-term goals is to you know continue to make progress in terms of the amount of muscle mass that I've got and in terms of my strength and I feel like in, in order to do that it would be um, Better to go ahead and commit to a nice long bulk But like I said before I do that I do want to get this uh, urge to compete urge to be lean out of my system But I'm having fun with it right now. The diet is going well um, but like I said, part of the issue with, with me and what I've been doing is we're staying really busy. And it's, you know, I, I definitely know that these professional bodybuilders can stay on their diet plan on the road and they've got everything all set up. And that's just not something that, that I've been able to do quite right just yet. So I think that in terms of overall long-term preparation, that's something that I can improve on uh, going forward. But um, I think that I've also been doing a good job at my job, right? I've been doing a good job on YouTube. Well, do a decent job on YouTube. I think I definitely need to get um, lots of more high-quality videos out for you guys. That's one of my uh, one of my short-term goals is to get back into making more high-quality videos for you guys in terms of the character videos, the montages, uh, and guides. I'm gonna be working on Arms Warrior PvP guide today. But uh, like I said, I've been doing an okay job on YouTube. I think I've been doing a really good job on Twitch, and we've been traveling around a whole lot for business as well, which we've been handling. We've been taking care of all that stuff, which is kind of a new thing for me. You know, I've been doing the YouTube videos and the live streaming for a long time, but in terms of bringing on new sponsors and going and representing them different places and doing stuff on their behalf, um, that's a new thing for me. So I'm working on working in those sorts of activities into my overall work schedule, all the while, putting in the time and the effort in the gym and with my diet 
to prepare for my first ever men's physique show. And I am going to do physique. I don't think I'm really big enough to do bodybuilding right now. And I also think that physique would be a uh, more low-key way to enter into this sort of uh, competitive scene. Because with bodybuilding... Um, it seems like the prep is a little more intense. You, I, you, I would, I think I would need more mass to to be competitive, um, and you have to like really nail down your posing. And with physique, you only really have to do a couple different poses. You still want to be sharp in those poses, but in terms of the amount of practice that uh, that that it demands and the amount of time that I have left, and with the physique that I've that I've you know got at the moment, I think physique would be a better choice for me. And that might be that might be a good choice moving forward. Or, you know, maybe over the years, if I'm, if I'm able to grow the way I want to, and maybe I can transition into bodybuilding. But I think I think physique is a good bet. Like I said, it's a little bit less extreme on your body. And I think it might be a good fit for me, especially because I've got, you know, so much other stuff going on. And bodybuilding and physique, you know, and fitness, it is a passion of mine, but it's definitely not my main thing. You know, so I'm not a professional bodybuilder, right? So I, I think that having a little bit more of a moderate approach where it fits into my lifestyle, but I can definitely still work really, really hard at it and be proud of, of what I'm able to accomplish is a, is a good fit. But first things first, we got to get ready for this uh, show in about three weeks. So what I'm doing with my diet right now is I am bringing my calories down a little bit lower uh, into the 2300s and I might go, I don't know, I think 2300 is, is, a, is a pretty good number, but I might even have to go lower than that over, as the weeks progress. Like I said, you know, we only have three weeks, so there's not a whole lot left to be done, I feel like, in terms of big, big changes. But I feel like if I, if I continue to do my cardio every day and keep my calories pretty low, you know, we might be able to, to shed a couple more pounds of body fat. And I think that'd be pretty good because I don't, from what I've heard, this Muscle Beach competition, and one of the reasons I think this is a good one for me, is it's pretty low key. It doesn't, it's, there, there probably will be professionals there, but for me and what I'm doing, uh, from what I've heard, is that it's more about, you know, having a, a beach body, right? So that you don't need to be like, insanely vascular and shredded which i'm not gonna be <laughs> I, don't know. I think i think i'll be able to achieve a physique like that at some point maybe but right now it's just gonna be a little bit more relaxed a little bit more low-key and uh it's gonna give me an opportunity to just see what it's like to get up on stage see what it's like to be in the environment of a physique or bodybuilding show which is something i've never done before so i'm excited i'm looking forward to it but i'm still definitely planning to just train on through it right I don't think I'm going to be doing any any insane um, like week leading up to it prep. I'm not going to be dehydrating myself. I'm not going to be you know messing with messing with my nutrients too much. I'm probably just going to bring myself to the competition essentially the way I am. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll probably do some like carb depletion and, and then bump up my carbs and make sure I've got enough sodium and all that just so that I can I can look my best. And I'll probably I'll, I'll be training up you know all the way up until the show I would imagine. And uh, I'll definitely be getting like a tan. I'll, I'll shave my body, which will be kind of funny to look at. But uh, I think I'm going to keep the beard. I, I trimmed up my beard recently, uh, and I'm probably going to keep the beard. I think it'll give me like a unique look. But like I said, I'm not going to be making any like gigantic changes just for this. Just because I don't think that I'm really in a super competitive position anyway. So I'm not like up there in the running for first place or anything. It's more like... I'm just giving myself an opportunity to see what it's like to take part in a bodybuilding show or, or a physique show. I think I have done a good job with my training, and this has always been something that's sort of been in the in the back of my mind. It's something I wanted to do, and so I'm going to go after it. And I really appreciate all the support from you guys that you've been giving me. I'm definitely going to need that support um, as these three weeks leading up to the competition progress because the workouts are going to get harder with the lower calories. But so far, my head's in a good place. I, I'm I'm motivated. I'm moving forward. I'm not like being worn down by my diet not being worn down by my training and not having a negative attitude. I'm just I'm just powering on through. Plus, we've also got a lot of other cool stuff going on. Like we said in the beginning of the video, those games and gain shirts are back up for sale. So if you guys missed out on uh, your chance to get them in the past two times or you'd like to get some more, be sure to check out those games and gain shirts. Uh, Twitch is going well, like I said, on YouTube. I've taken a look at you know what I've been doing on YouTube and I, and I can see what I want to strengthen. I can see what I want to get more of. And I think it's what you guys want to see more of as well those character videos, montages, and guides. And so, you know, today is an example where I'm taking some time away from the stream uh, to make sure I get those quality videos out, which is a big thing for me because the stream the stream is a lot of fun. It's, uh, you know, I, I know that you guys enjoy watching the stream and it means a lot to me to uh, have your support. I never want to let you down. But at the same time, I think I might need to make sure that I have a little bit more effort put into the YouTube side of things. So there might be a day or two during the week like today where I'm like, you know what guys, the stream's gonna be a little bit later today if I do get a chance to stream because we're gonna kick some butt, edit some videos that, that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm, taking the, I'm taking the large view, I'm taking the wide view, taking the long view 
of uh, everything that I've got going on, and I'm just continuing to put as much effort into into everything as I can, including the the bodybuilding thing. So we'll see how this physique show goes in about three weeks. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted leading up to it. But uh, I definitely want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really means a lot to me, and it's a huge, huge, huge help. So once again, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.